Hello everyone, this is Ma'am Amano and this lecture video is all about hyperbola. For part 1, we will have the understanding for the general and standard equations of a hyperbola. We will be discussing the definitions, parts, and the applications. First, we have here that the hyperbola is a type of a conic section or a double nap conic section here that cuts parallel to the generator. For the definition, similar to the definition ito sa ellipse. Diba? Sa ellipse, it is the set of all points such that the sum. But dito sa Ano, sa hyperbola, the definition is it is a set of all points such that the difference of the distances from P to the two fixed points called foci is a positive constant. The difference here, unlike sa ellipse, that is sum. For the general form, we have here the ax squared plus bx plus cy squared plus dy plus c is equals to zero. Ayan yan. But then, the a here and the c cannot be equal to zero. So, I have here the illustration of a hyperbola. Ito yung hyperbola nyo. Ayan, 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 ayan. If A is less than 0, the curve opens up and down. Pag less than 0 yung A, up and down ang hyperbola ninyo. But then kapag if A is greater than 0, the curve opens left and right. Pag ganyan, pag greater than 0. Now, let us proceed on the parts of the hyperbola. First, we have here the transverse axis. It is the line containing the foci. Because we have two foci, vertices, and center of the hyperbola. This is your transverse axis. This one. Because nandiyan yung focus, yung foci natin, yung vertex, tapos yung center. On this case naman, ito naman yung transverse axis natin, itong y here. Kasi andyan yung ano, focus, vertex, tapos yung center. Okay? Now, for the vertices, it is where the line passing through the two foci intersects. Ito. Ito yung vertex ninyo. So, dito nagpa-pass through yung line sa focus, sa vertex. Dito rin yan. Yun yung definition niya. Dyan. For transverse axis, another definition for that is that it is a line segment that connects the vertices. For center, it is the midpoint of the hyperbola. We also have here the conjugate axis. It is a line segment perpendicular to the transverse axis and passing through the center. So, pag sinabi natin perpendicular, nagka-create siya ng right angle. Nagka-bisect siya doon. Perpendicular di. If this is your transverse axis, the x, ito naman ang conjugate axis mo, yung y. Ito. Now, we also have here the value of the a. The value of the a is the distance between the vertex and the center sa plating. And then, the value of the b is the ends of the conjugate axis. Now, for the letter C, it is the distance between the focus and the center. For the asymptotes, we also have here that asymptotes are straight lines that contains the diagonals of a rectangular drawn at the center of the hyperbola. Ito yung inyong asymptotes. Ito, diagonal. Now, for the standard equation of a hyperbola with center at the origin, 0, 0. First, we have here the equation for the transverse axis. Kapag horizontal, ang ibig sabihin lang yan, ito yung equation natin. Kapag ang origin niya ay 0, 0. Nasa point of origin. So, this one is a horizontal. Bakit? Kasi yung x squared ang nauuna dito. Ito yung positive. Kapag positive yung x squared term dito, yan ay horizontal. Now, kapag ano naman, kapag y squared naman yung nauuna, or y squared ang ating positive, y squared term, we call that as the vertical. So, ang transverse axis ay nasa vertical. Ibig sabihin, nasa y axis, Nasa y-axis yung focus, yung vertex, tsaka yung center. Kapag nasa x-axis naman, pag horizontal, x-axis yan. Ibig sabihin, nasa x-axis yung focus, vertex, and the center. Now, if the standard form of a hyperbola with center at x and y, ito naman yung equations natin for standard form. Transverse axis, again, horiz horizontal ang transverse axis kapag yung x ay positive. Kapag nauuna, yan ay positive. Kasi hindi pwedeng y kasi negative siya with this ano, one. So, yan ay positive. And then... Ayan ang center, yung H and K. Tapos, yung vertical naman, ang transverse axis kapag Y naman yung nauuna or Y yung positive. Okay, the standard form of the equation of a hyperbola depends on whether the transverse axis is horizontal or vertical, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina. If the X squared term in the standard equation of the hyperbola is positive, then the transverse axis lies on X axis. So, ang pinaka-keynote nyo dito kapag nauna yung X squared term, dun sa equation, yun ay positive. So, meaning to say, kapag nangyari yun, yung transverse axis ninyo ay nasa x-axis. Now, here, if the y-squared term is positive, then the transverse axis lies on the y-axis. Kapag nauna naman yung y-squared term, eh di nasa y-axis naman yung transverse natin. Now, let us have the conversion of general form to standard form. Since similar na naman yung method sa ellipse natin, uh, go-focus tayo sa in standard form. Kasi to plot, the, ano, to, to plot the hyperbola, kailangan standard form ang gagamitin natin. So, for case 1, if the center of the hyperbola is at the origin, 0, 0. 
For example, 1. Convert the general equation 9x squared minus 4y squared equals 36 to h standard form. Then, identify whether the transverse axis is horizontal or vertical. For step 1, we have to divide both sides of the equation by its constant term, which is 36. Dividing that, dividing that, okay? And then, step 2, we have to simplify the equation. So, we have here, since yung 36 natin, dito sa yung denominator natin ang greater than, so we have here 4, diba? You will have here 4. 9 over 36, and then you will have here 1. Then, on this case, 4 over 36, that is 9, tama? This is 9 here. And then you will have here 1, simplify. And then this is 1. Then, transform this into standard form. You will have here x squared. Hindi na kailangan isulat yung 1. And then 4. This 1. Since nasa denominator ang greater value. Then for y squared, we have here this 1. y squared. Then over 9, again, difference equals to 1. Ito na ngayon yung standard form natin. Now, if you will observe here, now, una yung x squared natin, yung x squared term. Therefore, the transverse axis is at x axis. Ibig sabihin na sa x axis yung vertex, focus, and center. Now, for example, to convert y squared minus 16x equals 16 in standard form. Identify the values of a and b. Identify whether the transverse axis is horizontal or vertical. So, we have to divide again all the equation into its constant term, which is 16. So, dividing that, y squared over 16 minus 16x squared over 16, then 16, 16. Simplify. You will have here y squared over 16. Then, this one is x squared over 1. Pwede mo isulat na x squared over 1 yan. Kasi that is, if you will simplify, that is 1, 1 here. And then, 16 over 16 is 1 as well. So, the standard form is y squared over 16 minus x squared over 1 equals 1. Since the y squared term is positive here, now, una siya. Okay, hindi mo siya kailangang i-rearrange. Magko-focus ka dun sa original equation niya. Since the y squared term is positive, then the transverse axis lies on y axis. Now, to find the value of a, that is a squared is equal to 16, then get the square root of 16, that is positive negative 4. To get the value of the b, that is b squared is equal to 1, and then square root of 1 is 1, positive negative. Now, for case 2, if the center of the hyperbola is at x and y, or h and k, for example, 1, Change the general equation x squared minus 4y squared plus 6x minus 8y plus 1 is equal to 0. Then identify whether the transverse axis is horizontal or vertical. Step 1, you have to write the original equation x squared minus 4y squared plus 6x minus 8y plus 1 equal to 0. For step 2, you have to group the terms with the same variables. Kahit na magkaibang level ng degree nila, uh, x squared, then the 6x here. x squared plus 6x quantity, then minus open quantity, 4y squared plus 8y. So, bakit naging plus? ito ay negative dito. Again, ang hyperbola ay difference of all points. So, difference na yung operation mo instead of plus unlike ng ellipse. So, kung gagawin mo yung uh, negative dito, ikakapi mo to, magpapalit siya ng value or magnitude. So, magiging positive yan kasi negative to negative, magiging positive, di ba? So, kailangan positive to para kapag multiply mo, ay negative pa rin yung sign na makukuha mo rito. So, equals to negative 1. And then, get the common factor. On this case, we have 1 as common factor. So, you do not need to write the 1. That is understood. Minus 4. Because the common factor that we have here is 4. And then, 4 y squared plus 2 y. Okay? Equals negative 1. Then, step 4. Create a perfect square trinomial by completing the squares of the third term. Whatever terms you have added to the left side here should also be added to the right side to keep the equation true. So, para natin nakuha yung third term, ang kalahati ng 6 natin na magnitude lang, huwag kayo mag-focus sa variable, is 3. Then, square that, that is 9. Plus 9. And then, on this case, ang kalahati ng 2 ay 1. Square the 1, that is 1. And then, you have here, 1 plus the 9 that you added here. You do not need to write the 1 since 9 times 1 is also 9. Plus negative 4, this 1, multiplied to 1 here, the third term. And then, simplify the equation. You have negative 1 plus 9 plus negative 4 times 1, that is 4. Okay? And then step 6, write the equation in completed squared form. So, iano mo siya, compress mo into binomial form. To compress that, you will have here x plus 3 squared for this one. And then 4, y plus 1 squared. This is y plus 1, then equals to 4. Para malaman mo kung tama, mag-foil method ka, x plus 3, then x plus 3, ganon. Tapos, you will have here x squared, and then... Multiplied to 3x, then multiplied to 3x, you will have 6x na, x squared plus 6x. 
And then, you will have here 9. So, accurate siya dito. Now, for the y term naman, para malaman mo kung tama, karot is y plus 1. And then, y plus 1. Point method, y squared plus y plus y. That is 2y already. And then, 1 times 1, that is plus 1. So, accurate siya dito sa trinomial natin. So, this is correct. And then, step 7, uh, you have to divide both sides of the equation by 4. So, dividing both sides of the equation by 4, you will have, uh, since this is 1 already, the standard form will be x plus 3 squared over 4 here, minus uh, 4 divided by 4, that is 1 over here, y plus 1 squared over 1, equals 1, 4 over 4 is 1. And then, if you will observe, the orientation of our transverse or the location is at x axis. Why? Because the x squared term here is positive at nauuna siya. So, therefore, the transverse axis will be at x-axis or horizontal. Now, to find the value of a, that is a squared, equals, again, ang a squared mo ay laging kung ano yung uh, variable na nag-hold ng transverse axis. So, on this case, ang a natin ay nasa x. Okay? Nasa x. Okay? Kasi yun ang ating transverse axis. So, that is a squared equals 4, then a equals square to 4, that is positive negative 2. For b squared, syempre ang b squared natin ay yung uh, 1, yung hindi a squared, okay? If x is your a squared, then b is your y squared. So, to get the value, that is 1. Get the square root of 1, that is positive negative 1. Now, to get the center, equate nyo lang yung numerator into 0, yung nasa quantity. So, equating that into 0, x plus 3 equals 0, then x equals negative 3 transpose. Then, y plus 1 equals 0, transpose the 1, that will be negative 1. Therefore, the center slice at negative 3 and negative 1, the center. For example, to transform 4y squared minus 4x minus 4y minus 8x equals 19 in standard form. Identify the transverse axis, values of a and b, and center. For step 1, you have to write the original equation. For step 2, you have to group the same variables. So you have here 4y squared minus 4y minus okay, uh, 4x. That is negative if you will multiply on the operation. Plus 8x, you do not need to write negative because if you will write negative here, that will become a positive if you will multiply. So you have to write positive here uh, so that it will result to the negative value here. So plus 8x equals 19. For step 3, you have to factor out the given problem. The common factor here, we have 4. Then y squared minus y. Common factor here is 4. x plus 2x equals 19. And then create a perfect square trinomial for step 4. Half of y or half of 1 is 0 0.5, right? Then 0 0.5 squared that is 0 0.25. Then we also have here half of 2 is 1. Square that, that is 1 plus 1. So whatever you added here must be added on the other side as well for the equation to be true. So that is plus 4 times 0 0.25 plus negative 4 times the 1 here. Plus. And then simplify the equation for step 5. You have here the answer on this one is 16. Then, contract this into binomial. You will have these following binomials here. So, para malaman nyo kung tama yan, y minus 0 0.5 multiplied to y minus 0 0.5 lang. Same with here. x plus 1 multiplied to x plus 1 foil method. Then, you will know that is correct. Then, for step 7, you have to divide both sides on its constant term, which is 16. So, if you will divide that, simplify, that will be 1. So, you do not need to write the 1. So, you will have 4 here. So, that will be uh, y minus 0 0.5 squared over 4. And 4 over 16, that is 4 as well. So, you will have x plus 1 squared over 4 equals to 1. Now, if you will look here, the, our first term is at y variable. And therefore, that is positive because the x here is negative. So, since our y squared term is positive, therefore, the transverse axis is vertical or at y axis. To get the value of the a and b, that is a squared, again, ang a squared ninyo ay kung ano ang value ng transverse ninyo na variable, which is here ang transverse natin ay y. Therefore, kapag ang variable mo ay transverse, therefore, yung denominator niya ay a. So, that is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. Now, ang b squared naman, syempre, yung other variable. So, which is 4 as well. Here. And then, square root of that is 2. Positive, negative. And then, to get the center, that is transpose. Okay? Equate nyo lang sa 0 yung numerator. So, pag, once equated, that will be 
positive 0 0.5 transpose and then x plus 1 transpose to 1 that will be x equals negative 1. For the application of hyperbola on our real life, we have here examples is the twin arch 138 at Echinomeya, Japan. Then the open orbits of some comets about the sun follow hyperbolas. Then the interference pattern produced by two circular waves is hyperbolic in nature. It is the basis for solving trilateration problems. Number five, hyperbolas are seen in sundials and shadow of lampshade or flashlight. So that is all for this part one.